I have a question for you. What do you do when you find yourself stressed out, overwhelmed, depressed, sad, anxious, angry, or jealous? If you don't have a way around it, do you shut down? Do you escape? Maybe you binge watch on Netflix or social media. Maybe you turn to alcohol or drugs. In that moment when we feel unsafe in our mind and our body, we'll do anything to distract ourselves from the pain, discomfort, and stress. But what if there was a self-healing technique that you could use all on your own at any time without needing any tools to help your body and your mind calm down? My name is Elena and today I want to tell you about an amazing stress relief technique called tapping or EFT. It's easy, it's calming, and it's such an effective way to regulate your nervous system and to move you from stress mode into relaxation mode, often taking effect within only a few focused minutes of tapping. It's a kind and gentle way to process any uncomfortable feelings that are connected to our uncomfortable thoughts and memories. While tapping on endpoints of the energy meridians that run through our body, just like the points used in acupuncture, that sends a calming signal to the amygdala, or the stress center of the brain, which then intercepts the physiological response in our, in our body. In other words, as soon as we experience or think about something that stresses us out, our brain immediately goes into protection mode and floods our body with cortisol and adrenaline and many other changes happen instantly in the body. We tense up, we start sweating, heart is racing, the mind feels scattered because we are in fight, flight or freeze. Stress creates a loop of negative thoughts that then trigger stressful feelings in our body, which then creates more supporting thoughts and more feelings in the body and on and on as we continue on this hamster wheel. So the benefit of tapping is that it interrupts the stress cycle. Our mind tends to time travel into the past or into the future, which hijacks us from experiencing the present moment. Tapping is a way of taking action to transform that discomfort by processing our feelings as they arise. Those same feelings that tend to have us running away and maybe reaching for a glass of wine or Instagram or TikTok or whatever it takes for us not to have to face the stress. Why we continue to suffer in any moment is because most of our habitual behaviors is to avoid feeling that uncomfortable sensation. So there's a part of us that believes it's keeping us safe by not processing the stress inside of us, but rather to avoid it instead. What tapping does is it creates some space between our stressful thoughts and the stressful response in our body. So as we are focused on the stress and while we are tapping, our mind begins to open as our body begins to relax from tapping on these pressure points. What happens behind the scenes is our mind starts to look differently at the memories from our past or the fearful projection of the future as the sensations in our body begin to soften because the mind and body are always connected. Tapping is a scientifically demonstrated technique that literally rewires the patterns of the brain by interrupting the physiological stress response. This results in us letting go of the limitations from negative experiences, thoughts, and feelings. By clearing these patterns, we are then able to move forward with clarity and peace, ultimately getting back on track to creating our best life. Used as a personal tool, Tapping can be your go-to when you feel that surge of stress showing up. So now I'll show you the tapping points and then I'll walk you through a round of tapping. You can use the left hand or the right hand or both, it doesn't matter. So the karate chop point is the fleshy part of your hand on the side underneath your baby finger, top of the head, the eyebrow, which is right where the, the eyebrow starts, 
and you follow that around to the side of the eye on the bone. Follow that bone under your eye, under your nose, and the indent of your chin, the collarbone, and the side of the ribs. Remember that tapping on these points is interrupting the brain's response to stress. So instead of feeling stress in your body, you will start to relax as the physical tension in your body begins to dissipate. This is how we can take control of our feelings instead of our feelings taking control of us. So many of us just react to life and then feel victimized because our feelings justify our reaction. And so we continue to feel worse, which just perpetuates the loop of negative thoughts with the physical sensations of the stress in our body. So the basic recipe of tapping is to start by giving a voice to that loop of self-talk that goes on in your head. Say it all out loud while you're tapping, as though you're telling someone all about the problem. Just get it all out. Then start to release that stress while continuing the tapping. Don't worry about falling off track with the tapping points. Just as long as you're tapping on any of those points, that is just fine. Some people even choose one of the tapping points and stay there for the whole round. So do whatever you find most comfortable. When you notice your body starting to relax, then keep tapping and turn the negative thoughts around. Your brain will be open to change at this point. So gently start to realize that you deserve to feel good despite what is happening or what that person said or did. You deserve to allow yourself to take control of how you feel. Up until now, you've maybe let that situation or that person overrule your happiness. Now you can take control for your own physical and mental well-being. You get to be in charge of you. Okay, so now I'll show you how to do it. All you need to do is follow along where I'm tapping and repeat what I say. So think of something or someone that bothers you. Then sense into your body as you're thinking about that and notice where there's any pain or tension or discomfort. Now on a scale from one to 10, rate how stressful that situation or that person makes you feel, with 10 being unbearable stress. Okay, let's start. We'll do three rounds. So take a deep breath in through your nose and an even longer exhale through your mouth. Now gently tapping on the karate chop point, follow along and repeat after me. Even though I'm feeling so stressed because, and fill in the blank, I'm giving myself permission to notice this stress and to accept how I feel. Even though I'm feeling so much stress, I'm ready to move this feeling out of my body. So on the eyebrow, repeat after me. This stress shows up whenever I think about this problem. Side of the eye. It's got me so wound up inside under the eye. I have so many reasons to feel this way. Under the nose. I've practiced this feeling for such a long time. On the chin. The stress has become very familiar. Collarbone. Part of me is stubbornly committed to the struggle side of ribs and I'm sick and tired of it all top of the head something has got to change okay put your hands on your heart and breathe lots of love in and exhale now notice if things are shifting are your feelings intensifying or diminishing whatever the case just keep tapping here we go with round two on the eyebrow. Maybe it's possible to give myself a break. Side of the eye. I've been holding on to this dress for far too long. Under the eye. 
It's certainly not doing me any good under the nose. So now I'm choosing to let it go on the chin. Letting go of those old patterns and painful stories. Collarbone. Noticing all the old programming that keeps that stress alive in me. Side of the ribs. Releasing all that stressful energy. Top of the head. Breathing it out to make room for peace. Okay, hands on your heart. Breathe lots of love in and exhale. Okay, last one. So for round three, start on the eyebrow. It's time for me to experience my life without this stress. Side of the eye. I wonder what my life will look like without it. Under the eye. How will things improve for me? On the nose. Now I can allow all the abundance that I've missed out on. On the chin. Because the stress was keeping me stuck. Collarbone. I have so much to look forward to. On the ribs. This could be the start of something new and exciting for me. Top of the head. It feels so good to take control of how I feel. Okay, hands on your heart and breathe lots of love in and exhale. So remember, as your mind and body calms down, you have access to options and solutions that you just cannot reach when you're under stress and clarity will begin to surface to help you take effective action to deal with that situation or that person. Okay, so now sense into your body again and revisit that original situation or that person in your mind. What has changed? Have other thoughts popped up? Are you feeling more relaxed? How would you rate your, your stress level now from one to 10? If it's gone up, it's because you have uncovered some hidden emotions. So repeat the tapping we just did. And if it's gone down, even just by one number, give yourself credit for improving your emotional fitness. Each time you catch yourself in stress mode and change your emotional energy, you're setting up your next moment for a better outcome. You are literally a new person without that stress. So how will your life improve if you maintain a healthy emotional state as your priority? It not only changes how you think, but how you speak to others and how you make decisions and how you show up in the world. It is our responsibility to improve our emotional wellness. And this contributes to improving the energy of the whole planet. Feel free to repeat these rounds as often as you'd like in order to reduce the situation down to zero. You've got this. Thanks for watching and for aligning with your true self.